If you've come to Flutter and Dart by way of other languages, you may have noticed that Dart asks you to write a fair amount of boilerplate for simple classes. Sometimes, you just want a class that accepts its values in a constructor, offers a helpful toString override, implements value equality, a copy with method so objects can stay immutable, and so on. Suddenly, covering all of these basic features has made your class anything but simple. Thankfully, code generation packages like Freeze can save you from writing hundreds of lines of error-prone boilerplate. To use Freeze, add it as a dev dependency in your pubspec.yaml file, and add Freeze annotation as a normal dependency. You will also need BuildRunner as a dev dependency and JSON serializable if you want to JSON and from JSON methods. And now you're ready to start. First, decorate a class with the Freeze annotation. Then specify a superclass that it mixes in. And don't sweat that the linter doesn't know what you're talking about. Freezed will generate that shortly. Next, start on your constructor. Use a const factory constructor and point it to a class with the same name, prefixed with an underscore. Again, that class doesn't exist yet, so don't pay the linter too much mind. Next, in that constructor, specify any fields that your data class will need. Note that you don't use the normal this.fieldName syntax because Freeze will generate that part. Use the default decorator to assign default values. And once you've defined all your fields, tell Freeze that you want to JSON and from JSON methods by adding a from JSON constructor. Just like before, it points to a class that doesn't exist yet. Return to the top of your file and add these two part declarations, so Dart considers all three files one big happy file. And finally, run the magic build runner command to actually generate all the missing pieces. And that's it! Freeze generated a veritable ocean of tedious boilerplate for you, allowing you to get back to the interesting parts of your app. And if, in the future, you need to add more fields, add them as parameters in that first constructor, rerun the build command, and get back to the fun stuff. There's so much more you can do with Freezed, so be sure to think about how it can make your code more maintainable. For more info on Freezed and all the other packages, head to pub.dev.